Good Arab Shabbos. This week's Parshish Yisrael <coughs> teaches us the main event of Parshish Yisrael about the giving of the Torah. And the giving of the Torah was the national experience that the Jewish people had, Mount Sinai, which was a unique experience that no other people ever experienced. And not only let alone experience, but not even claim to have a national experience. <clears throat> As Anashim, Nashim, Ataf, men and women and children gathered in, at Mount Sinai and heard the divine word of God. But prior to that, we learn about Yisrael, the father in law of Moshe. He comes to the desert and he tells <clears throat> Moshe a bunch of different ideas. Moshe accepts those ideas in terms of how to manage the administration of managing Klal Yisrael. But I want to focus on is not only the beginning of the parsha, but literally the first word. The first word of the parsha says, "My Yishma Yisrael." Yisrael heard. What did Yisrael hear? It says he heard. Yisrael Amo heard everything that God did for Moshe and Israel as nation. God took the Jews out of Egypt. And famously, the Mepharshim, the Parsha commentaries ask, why was it unique to Yisro hearing? In fact, the entire world heard. This was the great news of the day that a nation that was enslaved marched out of Egypt without a shot being fired in the middle of the day a great miracle. So why does it say, by Yishma Yisro, Yisro heard? In fact, everybody heard the great news. So Rashi famously says, Ma Shmu Hashem What did Yisro hear? That Yisro actually came. Meaning, everybody heard the news. But everybody heard the news perhaps was even inspired after hearing the news. And then shortly after, this inspiration faded. But Yisro was the only one that this, took this inspiration and harnessed it into a tangible reality. What did Yisro hear? They actually made a difference in his life. He actually came. And this teaches us an important lesson because there's hearing and there's hearing. Some people say there's hearing and there's listening. And it's interesting that the word Shema is the first word of our declaration of faith, Shema Yisrael, because it's not just about hearing, it's about internalizing the message. It's about harnessing these ideas into reality, into an action. So by Yishma Yisro, Yisro heard, but it wasn't just that he heard Mashmua Shama Uba, he actually harnessed this, <coughs> this inspiration into reality. So we hear a lot of different things. We get inspired by perhaps many things as well. But how many times does that actually cause us to go to our own figuratively Mount Sinai, like Yisro did? Or do we say after inspiration wears off, ah, it's, uh, it's, it, wasn't, it wasn't such a great deal. But Yishma Yisro, Yisro heard, it's important for us to take that inspiration and harness that into reality. Because in life, we're always getting messages. God's sending us messages all the time. And we have a choice in front of us. We can take those messages and internalize them and harness them into a tangible reality, or we can just let it go past us. So as we study these parshios, especially the parsha of Matan Torah, of giving of the Torah, it's important for us to rededicate ourselves with our faith, rededicate our commitment to God and to his Torah, and internalize all those messages that we see. Let's channel that, let's harness that into a reality. And we can have not only a, an experience of listening, but an experience of doing as well. I wish you all a good Arab Shabbos.